do's and don'ts of our camel moves. Do, start learning your undulations first. We bring our chest forward, our belly forward, our hips forward and release, and then start to smooth it out. As you transition to your walking camels, we bring one foot in front, we bring our chest forward, our belly forward, our hips forward, and then as we release, we step onto the back foot. Do, play around going both directions. You can have either foot in front as you go either direction. Don't, take really big steps. This is just gonna look really messy and be hard for you to keep your posture and get into the move. Do, use your abs, you're moving your skeleton as well as squeezing through your core and your glutes as you rock forward and back. Do, play around going slow as well as fast. These are going to give you essential skills for your belly dancing repertoire. Don't forget to move one part of the body. It's very common to just move the chest and belly or just move the chest and hips or just move the belly and hips. You still want all three. If you are struggling with one of them, do practice that one by itself or hold onto that part of the body so that you can really make sure you get that technique. Don't stomp down as you do your camels. You wanna keep your feet nice and elegant as well. Even if you're flat footed, you're staying nice and controlled. You can also practice up on your toes. Some people find this easier. Do, as you go faster or as you go up on your toes, it's okay for the move to become a little smaller. Do, practice going forward and back as well. This isn't traditionally known as our camel step, but it's a really fun one to practice when you're doing forward and back. Same principles apply. We bring our weight onto the front foot as we bring our chest, belly, hips forward. And as we step back, we're coming to neutral. Do, practice in front of the mirror so that you know which parts you need to work on most. Do play around with variations in your feet. You can come down, you can come up, or you can come into a mixture of up and down. Don't overcompensate with your shoulders and your neck. We don't want this to be the reason why this step is called a camel. Do relax through your neck, through your chest, having a little stretch if it helps you to release. Do. Flow through the move so your audience doesn't know where one part starts, where one part stops. Don't stop partway through the move. Do use your arms for added beauty and elegance. And finally, do have a fun with it. This is such a beautiful move. You're going to love using it. Are you guilty of any of these don'ts? Let me know in the comments.